Hello guys, welcome to the 7th Python tutorial for beginners. If you are a Python developer, Python enthusiast or someone who is interested to know more about Python programming, consider subscribing. Today we are going to talk about if, elif, else conditions in Python. As in life, decision making is one of the most important aspects of programming. In Python, we use the if, elif, else conditions to facilitate decision making. Let's talk about single decision processes. If a condition is satisfied, we will execute a certain line of code. Else, we will execute a different set of code. We can also account for multiple decisions in our code using an elif clause, which also means else if. If the first condition is met, the code within the if block is executed. Elif, the second condition is met, code within the elif block is executed. Else, we will execute the code within the else block. Now, we can account for as many decisions we want within our if else conditions. In that case, we can keep adding elif clauses to keep meeting our condition requirements. We can also account for a decision within another decision. This is called nesting. We can basically have an if elif else statement inside another such statement. Any number of these statements can be nested under one another. Now beware of one thing, indentations. You should always indent every statement after your if elif else clause with four spaces. We'll talk about indentations more during our practice session. So guys, let's start talking about if elif else in programming. The first problem that we are going to solve is check if the value of a variable is greater than 0. For that purpose, let's define a random variable and we'll call it random underscore number and assign it the value 2. Now I can start my if condition saying that if random underscore number is greater than 0, print the number is positive. Then I can end it with an else saying if the number is not positive, print the number is negative. Very basic. So here you can see I have defined a random number equal to 2 and then I say if random underscore number is greater than 0 and after that I say print the number is positive after 4 spaces. So basically you have to indent your code with four spaces every time you are writing a statement after an if, elif or an else condition. Right? So now if we print this, so this says the number is positive which means this block, the if block was executed and then Python saw that this condition holds and therefore it returned us the, this print statement and the else block was not executed. Now let's say random underscore number is minus 2. Now let's run this code again and this time it prints the number is negative, right? Because it, it first checked the random underscore number greater than 0 condition and it's not true and therefore it executed the, uh, the statement inside the else block. So this is how basically how the if else thing works in Python. Now we can also do it without using the else. Basically, you can just write an if condition and if the if condition uh, holds, then the statement under the if condition is executed and you basically don't need an elif or an else uh, condition to begin with, right? So if I just run this code, nothing is printed out. So Python runs the if uh, this uh, checks this if statement and basically it finds out that this condition does not hold true and therefore it just passes on. It doesn't do anything. Now. Let's practice the elif condition as well. So continuing on our, our previous problem, this time we are going to check three things. One, if the number is greater than zero, we are going to print out that the number is positive. Then we are going to check if the number is equal to zero. If the greater than zero doesn't hold, Python will add a decision saying check whether the number is equal to zero. If the number is equal to zero, we are going to print out the number is zero else will print out that the number is a negative number right so continuing on that here 
we already have the if statement if random underscore number is greater than zero print the number is positive then i can write elif random underscore number equal to equal to zero remember our assignment operator tutorial if you don't know what i'm doing please go first go and check that tutorial uh, and then come back here so this is basically you are assigning the value we are checking if random underscore number and zero are equal so here elif random underscore number equal to equal to zero print the number is zero else print the number is negative oh wrong spelling number is negative right so let's run this code so here it says the number is negative so we declared random underscore number as minus 2 first the if block was executed and it was found that this condition does not hold so therefore the statement here also wasn't ex executed then the elif clause was executed and it was also found out that the this condition also doesn't hold random underscore number is not equal to zero and therefore the only the else block is executed now let's check out if we put random underscore number equal to zero then we can see and we run this code we can see that the number is zero this print statement is basically executed so this is how if elif else works right so guys let's talk about nesting we already discussed that nesting means we can put if elif else condition inside another if elif else condition right so here we are going to solve a problem now stating that we are going to define a variable with a number now we'll check if that variable or that number is greater than or equal to 0 then we will again check if that number is equal to 20 if the number is equal to 20 we print that this is a score else we'll print that this is just a positive number or 0 then in the last else clause we'll print that this is just a negative number if the positive uh, number if condition does not hold right so what we can do is here let's delete the entire thing here and here we can say if random underscore number is greater than or equal to zero we'll again check saying if random underscore number is equal to equal to 20 print this is a score else print this is a positive number or zero right so first the if this if condition will be executed if it is true then the if else condition under this uh, if clause will be executed if none of this is true if the random underscore number is not greater than equal to zero then directly the else block will be executed so let's try this for the random number equal to zero right so if we print uh, if we run this code we see that uh, python res returns us this is a positive number or zero which makes sense now let's try with random underscore number equal to 20 so python returns us this is a score so basically this if condition was executed and it holds true and then python checked if the random underscore number equal to equal to 20 and it is so then therefore it printed this is a score so this is basically how nesting works in python using if elif else conditions let's talk something interesting in one of the previous tutorials we covered the subject of booleans right so in python there are two kinds of booleans true and false one interesting fact is you can also represent true and false as one and zero respectively so basically if if you check python considers one as true and zero as false i can show you this how and we are going to see this using if elif else clause so here i can say if one just stay with me don't worry i'm going to explain this entire thing to you print it is true else print it is false what what do you think will happen if i execute this code there's something wrong here i don't know let's execute this you can see python returned us it is true let's try something else 
here instead of 1 let's say if 0 print it is true else print it is false python returns us it is false now why is this it's because python represents true and false as 1 and 0 so like like i explained let's go back to the if else basics so what does it mean so basically first the if clause is, clause is executed and python checks if the condition is true right so when we are writing 0 here python sees 0 as false so basically the condition is executed as false and therefore this if block the statement under this if block does not get executed and the else block gets executed when we write if 1 then python sees 1 as true so therefore the condition in the if block is true and therefore the statement within the if block gets executed so this is something really interesting to know about python how it behaves with uh, booleans with if elif else operators and therefore this is good to know so this is it guys today we learnt about if elif else conditions in python in the next tutorial we are going to learn something about lists if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. See you in the next tutorial.